Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. Today I'm going to talk about brush selection for oil painting. Why is brush selection important? So different brushes make different marks and your choice will affect the outcome of your painting. There are many things to consider when purchasing brushes. For example, hog brushes are very stiff and the bristles very rough. They're best used when you want to get paint onto your canvas quickly. Because of their rough bristle texture, you won't achieve precision or detail with these types of brushes. They are really just the workhorse of the brush family. Paint applied with these types of brushes will be much more textured. By contrast then, synthetic brushes are much softer. They still remain stiff, but they do allow you to get precision and detail. Synthetic brushes are generally my staple go-to. I do prefer the marks that they make and it does suit my painting style, but it's worth trying both to see what suits you. But there are so many brushes to choose from, so what should I buy? You should only buy really what you need and I would suggest these four brushes will pretty much cover all your basic needs for oil painting. The Filbert is a great all round brush. It, it pretty much suits any style of painting as well because it has both a flat edge and a round edge. So I tend to use this brush as a block in and I do favour it over the hog brush. It comes in many sizes, so you can use it both for large areas and for detail as well. I don't find this brush though produces very expressive marks, which is why I tend to use the larger sizes just as a workhorse blocking brush rather than something to give me an expressive painting. The flat brush is probably the one that I use the most. It is a very versatile but expressive brush and it's great for detail because of its sharp edge and it's also great for, for precision as well when you use the smaller sizes. Both the filbert brush and the flat brush can be used for pretty much painting anything like landscapes, portraits, animals. They are very, very good brushes. Notice though that the bristles on flat brushes can be both longer and shorter. So shorter bristles will give you a much more loaded effect with the paint in a sort of more smaller concentrated area. Round brushes come in large and small sizes. I tend to use only the small sizes and the small sizes are great for complete control and precision. I use them for painting detail like eyes and anything really that requires a high degree of control. They're not very expressive in their strokes though and you'd probably find that if you painted a whole painting in these types of brushes, especially the small ones, you might end up with something that looked very photographic in effect. Long hair brushes then. So these ones have really long bristles. The ones I tend to use are by Rosemary and Co and are called Eclipse Comas. The edge is quite feathered and so you can produce very expressive strokes with them. By loading them with paint and then twisting and turning them as you apply the pressure of the brush to the canvas. They are also very good at dragging multiple layers of paint across a canvas, especially when painting wet on wet. This whole area here in this painting was painted with one of these brushes. They're not only great for animal fur, but also you can use them in your landscape paintings where you need to paint long grass or foliage or perhaps flower petals. They are very versatile brushes and very expressive. Do I need long or short handles? Well, 
Long handles serve best where you're painting expressively because it allows good movement in your wrist and an ability to be able to get distance between yourself and the canvas. So by contrast then, a shorter handle suits precision. So you tend to buy smaller size brushes which are used for detail with short handles. Finally then, I feel I should mention the palette knife. This is great for mixing your paint, but it can also be used for painting as well and it can produce very expressive marks, sharp edges and textured surfaces. It's a sad fact that oil painting brushes do get wrecked over time, so expect to replace them quite regularly. So for cleaning brushes, I tend to use Gamsol as it's odourless. And the great thing about this is that you can get yourself two jars and pour your used turpentine into both of the jars. Over time, the paint sediment will separate from the gamsole and you'll be able to reuse it so it will last much longer. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Check out my website, sarahhalladayart.com, for details of online classes that I run and also examples of my work. I'll see you for the next video.